Welcome to Sterling Stocks. You know we're talking about MMAT. You know I'm not a financial advisor. Thumbs up, the bad boy, baby. If you want to, subscribe too. We're always up here hooping, hollering, singing, and dancing. So uh, just going to straight up get after it today on the day. Uh, nanotech acquisition is approved by the shareholders. We'll be looking at some dates that we also got here in just a sec. So uh, basically price action today went pretty much as expected, off by about six cents uh, here I wouldn't be surprised if this was some short manipulation trying to drive us down, shake some people out. Uh, but also, as we kind of pointed to as last night's video, any dippers should get scooped up relatively quickly. Love to see us get back over this 579 line re relatively quickly. Uh, and then kind of worked our way back up here. The 640 line is questionable to me just because uh, kind of seen it more as a short short wall trying to manipulate and keep you down because uh, they threw, threw up about 100k shares similar to that $6 resist yesterday uh, and then just kind of moved it up to the 650s once they uh once more and more buying pressure started happening, you will see them tend to do that. So uh, they don't want to just get all the shares ate, ate up. So just keep that in mind. Uh, not worried in the least bit. We are well on our way. Glad to see that we didn't see a ton of sell the news after the meeting. Uh, the most sell the news was honestly a big old flush. Even could have been some more short FTDs being thrown into the market as we've kind of touched on. Uh, as that happened, definitely some traders g getting out of it thinking it's going to lose momentum. Uh, didn't lose much momentum as is. I think that's more so uh, because of the, the little bit of update we got on. I uh, just want to touch on personal stuff here. We'll, we'll might have a minor change in content tomorrow and uh, Thursday. I'm getting my top and bottom teeth removed and then getting screws screwed into my jaw tomorrow. So uh, if I'm able to, 100% will be up here yelling at you guys. But worst comes worse, uh, the, the old gal will be up here reading off some sort of crypto script to you guys so i uh, just wanted to give you all that update due to content reasons uh shouldn't be anything too too special or uh too terrible so uh uh basically yeah that that's a content content update so uh either way it should only be a couple days if you want to follow me on Ster at sterling stocks uh the number six on twitter in, in case i'm unable to speak uh and i will be sending out some text thoughts as well so if we just want to get over uh onto the content here expected closing on october 5th this was approved by 98.4 of the shareholders vote uh today we were live for this meeting if you want to go check it out uh, always vid vids available so uh, expecting closing October 5th love to see it here coming up uh, next Tuesday is when they're expected to close that uh, deal here so uh, very exciting as we kind of know another catalyst coming up is when meta and nanotech actually announced this closing we do have the uh, court hearing tomorrow and possibly MHP sales coming up on the 30th as we've kind of touched on in previous videos uh, court, court approval should, should go pretty smoothly tomorrow uh, and then we will see if Meta and the team comes out with some sort of news on that MHP though uh, we would just have to see no guarantees on that as is we know there's loopholes and so on and so forth but uh, would be interesting to say if they went ahead and sold that Hazard project keep in mind that's the smaller project of the two so uh, once again here are some of our team uh, scientific advisory board here doing a little chat and Andrea Liu did receive an award blending 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 the Atlantic National Award of Physical Science and Engineering tonight uh, and then Mark comes down here and says congrats on an amazing award making history tonight so these two dudes are on the meta team baby we, we got good people on the team and it's only going to keep on getting better uh, that's more catalysts that you can look for in the future that George has kind of touched on in the past uh, is more and more hires trying to get a, getting all these verticals to choose the, the correct path because we got so many dang verticals so uh, vote pretty much went as expected today as we know uh should be closed here coming up next tuesday and maybe we can see more uh even more good action going on here i uh, love to see that we didn't re really retrace and i think that's just because people uh that that kind of bought this thing up kind of see the true potential and i mean the potential just just got better today just got approved why would you sell off today don't make much sense after they just approved it and uh hopefully only have to wait about a week to get this bad boy closed expected to close always could change on that date uh but very good to see you Get it, get it rocking and rolling so uh, some other upcoming catalysts as we kind of touched on in last night's video this is the Covestro sector here performance materials and solutions special okay uh, let me start off so in the future Covestro will distinguish between the reporting segments 
performance materials and solutions and specialties. Covestro's first report containing the new structure will be issued for the third quarter of 2021 on November 8th. So uh, November 9th through the 11th is also the all conference that we're going to be with Covestro in, and that's a, like a big tech conference. And they said uh, that they said the sponsors should be coming out with some new type tech uh that's what the overall um, i guess event said about the the sponsors and we are a key sponsor so uh, very interesting this timeline here coming out a day before that and we know Covesho is one of our big glass partners uh in performance and materials and solution and specialties i think meta materials is going to be a big time uh part of this and that's the, the first time they're going to re- be reporting their segments so we'll be keeping an eye on these uh of course we got their rock and roll partners and only more to come i do suspect after this uh, nanotech deal is done so shorts a little bit up on the per- percent today uh, 1.94 I predicted it would be a little bit higher after this meeting but also didn't see as much of a downtrend after the meeting so I think some shorts were like whoa well son of a gun son of a gun I think I think they in trouble baby I think they're in trouble and it's just only a matter of time till we're seeing uh, freaking bang 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 rings baby uh, only a matter of time so highly confident here uh, not too worried. We know manipulation is here. Wouldn't be surprised if more of that sell sell the news was just FTD trying to drive us down uh, and trying to trick people out. Futures are a little green on the day, so hopefully we can keep on rocking. One thing we do want to touch on, I mean, overall, your market was more red and meta materials kept on uh, uh, going on our way, as we kind of touched on. If the market is wonky, as we like to say, uh, but with our catalyst coming up, we will st- sell, still see some sort of a run, just might dampen it, uh, but love to see the the less pullbacks i think that's because we got holders and there's more people that are like this thing is just getting going just getting going so uh we would just have to see but yeah content update wise t shouldn't be a huge deal if i'm able to i'm gonna be up here y'all let you guys uh if i sound like freaking mush mouth then i probably won't be uh up here and someone else will be up here reading my words but uh yeah don't be worried in the least bit we'll be rocking daily content out out as is so uh if you want to go check out that meeting but i already told you what happened expected closing on october 5th but approved baby approved 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 so uh some things to look for tomorrow maybe you could run into some people like well nothing more came out of this deal my mouth fell off uh we would just have to see if markets rocking and rolling i think people are going to be like more people are going to just now hear oh shoot acquisition approved uh <laughs> so we would just have to see uh highly confident we're going to see some good things going one thing to keep, keep keep your eye on is that volume if our volume keeps increasing uh should keep seeing more and more green days we would just have to see uh how all that shakes out but yeah that's basically it for us today uh go check out those videos from last night go check out our reef as well uh or aria mining corp it is taking a little bit of a dipper since i made my video but we kind of touched on that last night uh kind of went down here to what we did expect here in the 17th so uh i expect an update on them in the next one to two weeks we'll keep doing this uh little closing ending thoughts on the 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 stocks that we do put out there uh might give you some more after i get done with this uh mouth thing because i'm going to be doing a lot of stock reading and stuff so uh yeah basically that's it as i said like and subscribe baby we're rocking and rolling we're on our way see you guys later